getting things a little bit better organized. Um, this isn't for you, it's for me, but I just want to say what I'm actually doing. Uh, first thing I want to say is going to spend a bit more time on Cebu X Pack and clean this site up a bit. It's it's a mess. I know it's a mess. It's it's actually a gamash of about three sites now, and I'm going to have to work on it. Um, I've been putting it off purely because it doesn't make any money, um, which is why if somebody wants to look through it, I just go go and look for it. It's, it's um, a task that's probably going to take two months to put right and although I say it doesn't make money the point is I need to be making money in Spain it's not that oh it's not making money I can't be bothered to do it but more I need to be generating revenue in Spain which is why that's a bit more of a priority but no downside on it I'll get there um, the YouTube videos one of the things I noticed there's no real playlist as such in you, you've got the playlist in YouTube, but there's over a thousand videos now. So I want to create a manual static playlist with the link. So you can actually go back to 2007, 2008 to the first videos if you want. But you might find the next video you want to watch is 2009 because the rest are crap. <laughs> you know, so I want to do that on Cebu Expat as well. So you can actually just go through the links and be more selective because I'm trying to encourage people to look at some of the older stuff as well. It's not as well edited as it is now because we're so professional these days. <laughs> well, cameras are a lot better. My quality isn't. Um, I try to make it entertaining, but um, it'll take me a bit of time to get there. So I'm doing that and trying to get these um, Google Hangouts going so that we can have chats on Saturdays and Sundays. Please message when the best times are for different people around the globe because I'm a bit flexible but not um, excessive. The reason I say that is like now I've got Ubi sat next to me um, using my phone to play a, a video game with headphones on. Um, I know a lot of, well, the majority of expats, let's be honest, haven't got kids. So they don't have this family life going on, um, which creates chaos. Because um, I've been teaching Ubi a bit of stop motion video today. Um, got Zoe busy doing something else in her bedroom. And April's busy doing the ironing. Oh, and another thing I didn't mention, nobody's even mentioned it at all. I actually bought some set props this week. Um, cost a few hundred euros, but I thought, you know, if I'm going to be here, I'll put a bit of effort in, I'll invest in a little bit um, of money. Oh, what was that? I made so much of YouTube this month. No, I didn't. <laughs> I did it. The YouTube didn't even pay for, didn't pay for those. That that's come out of my own budget. Um, I'll tell you what. YouTube did pay for last month was some tiles for my mother and father-in-law's floor. Um, the the fact is, I, I do these videos for entertainment value. To be honest, um, I enjoy doing them. I like talking to people, but also being a very quiet person. Now, I said that to my wife, she doesn't believe me, but I like to communicate with people, I, I like helping people, it, it's, uh, there could be worse things in life to, to be obsessed with, I suppose, but anyway, so yeah, we've, we've invested a bit of props, we've, um, what else we've we been doing, oh, I've got a new tripod as well, I, I did do a review on that. That's working okay as well now. That's when I was up on the roof yesterday that I tested it there. Because um, the advantage with that one, it, it's multi angle so I can flip the camera around, I can put it underneath so I can take pictures of flowers and stuff. Um, as if I've got time to do that most weeks. Um, but everything's getting it. Oh, another thing I didn't show you. As I tip my bag upside down, oh, it's not actually here. I've got all the filters now, so doing the videos outdoors, I can drop a filter in to, to um, reduce the light. So we're pretty much good to go. 
uh, I just got a new quote for the car insurance I'm going to organize um, getting the car 100% Spanish um, well 95% Spanish because uh, I can't actually register in Spain until I'm actually a resident of Spain. As I told you, I've got these head. I've got to wait three months now, be self-employed for three months, then go back and say, "Look, there's my receipts. I pay tax." And they go, "Yes, you do. You're now a resident." So I can't transfer the plates, but there's a there's a way of actually getting it legal, paying the tax in Spain. Because basically, what I mean, I've I've been through this before. Uh, with Germany because my father was in the forces so you, they still want you to make a tax contribution and there's a way of doing it if you're overseas because obviously you can't take the car back and you might not want to go back for example say my car's here and I want to drive through Europe I ain't gonna go all the way up to the Middle East and then go you know what I've, I've got to go back and get my MOT done you know or get the <laughs> you're just gonna go it ain't happening so you've just got to get it serviced done local legal get this tax paper to say you pay tax in Spain etc so once the cars also sorted we're good to go I only have about three hours spare in the middle of a day and the reason I say that is anything above that I don't have the distance to travel uh, because I've got to go backwards and forwards to the school so things are changing things are getting I'll be out a bit more I'm going to get a map out as well. We've actually got some maps of the area, so I'm going to sit there and plan some locations to go and do some video footage. Now, what do I want from you guys? Well, first thing is ideas. What do you want me to talk about? I know uh, some people have brought some questions up in the comments, and now I'm going to transfer some of those into actual video chats. But please bring ideas forward because I'm quite happy to talk about pretty much anything um, because the reality is I don't have all your questions the reason being some stuff to me is very logical which is stuff that frustrates my wife because if it's very very technical I understand it very logically um, I look at schematic diagrams for example and I can follow it straight through for entire buildings for heat and ventilation in electrical systems um, it's not a problem yet I know many electricians that look at them and go well what's those squiggly lines um, they should know but they don't they do these like six week I'm an electrician course um, and they're what I call cable runners nothing wrong with that because a lot of the jobs they're actually doing 99% of the time is going around changing lighting luminaires, you know, taking out a fluorescing tube and replacing it with a new one. So they're not exactly beaming with having to understand and know everything because if you did, you wouldn't want the job. So from that point of view, I don't have all the answers. Well, don't have all the questions. I bet you can find most of the answers, though. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, I know somebody was on about maritime law recently. Um, I can find you somebody that actually knows. Um, because I know several people in the Coast Guard, the Philippine Coast Guard. Some of them are actually pilots. Some are um, the seafarers. So I can find that information out. So please get more involved um, I appreciate it because it does show that I'm not sat here on my own or sat with about five people you know Dave and uh, the usual suspects but I don't mind if it's just Dave and a few of the suspects either because it's nice to actually be helping other people and the, also the most important thing is to actually enjoy listening to the stuff I come out with All right. Anyway, I'm going to cut this one short. Be aware, there's another video uh, live Google Plus thing in about 30 minutes. If the video doesn't start straight away properly, it's because my kids are downloading an apps and I need to like slap them around a bit. Not really slapping them around about. You know, it's so bizarre these days. You know, if somebody says that to me, it's instantly a joke. But in the PC world of today, they're like, Oh, you beat your children. No, I don't. Um, I'm sure some people wish that I did sometimes. 
<laughs> no, <laughs> my kids are good. Um, well, most of the time they're good. Uh, but anyway, catch you later. Like I said, 30 minutes, there's another video starting, a live one. So you can get in there and throw me some questions. You can leave some comments in here if you're not on the Google Plus. I'll put the Google Plus link in here as well because uh, it's not shown on the YouTube channel for some reason. Alright, thanks for watching.